Welcome to session four of Table Tennis Training 101. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on our forehand and backhand counter hit. Now this is really moving into the big time in table tennis. So it's important that you go and watch the forehand counter hit and the backhand counter hit tutorials. Let's now focus on the technique of your forehand counter hit. So you've now seen the forehand counter hit video. Focus on your start position and your finish position with your forehand counter hit. To practice this, I'm going to bounce the ball to you, bouncing the ball on both sides like you would with a serve. And I'll catch it and bounce it again. So you can see that Jeff is focusing on his start position and his finish position. Start, finish. I'm going to bounce 10 balls for Jeff and Jeff's going to hit them back to me. When we finish those 10, we're going to swap roles and Jeff is going to bounce 10 for me. When both of you feel comfortable and confident that you have your technique correct, so you need to be getting at least eight out of the 10 forehands on in a row, then you can move on to the next level of forehands. Now, both of you have had a turn at hitting those forehands off the bounce. We're going to start to hit the ball to each other. Remembering still to focus on your technique and keeping the ball consistent. Start position and finish positions of the ball. You're going to find that when you start to hit the ball to each other, the ball will start to fly all over the table and your consistency will drop. Work at improving that consistency over time. All right, Jeff, it's now time to cooperate with each other and we're going to do the consistency forehand game. We're going to see how many forehands we can hit in a row without a mistake. Okay, with the correct technique, right start position, right finish position. Got it, All let's right, go. let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and so on. So, Jeff, you did well. Next, we're going to work on our backhand counter hit. To do this, we're going to start by bouncing the ball again, and I'm going to bounce, and Jeff's going to hit 10 backhands. So while I bounce the ball, Jeff focuses on his start position and his finish position. Start, finish. I bounce 10 for Jeff, catch it, and bounce it again. When I've completed my 10 bounces, it's time for us to change over and Jeff's going to bounce 10 for me. When you feel like you can get eight out of 10 consistently, then it's time to move on to hitting backhands to each other. Now we're hitting to each other, focusing on your technique, thinking about your start position and your finish position on the backhand. Remember, don't hit the ball too fast. Focus only on your technique. If you feel like you're struggling hitting the ball to each other, it's okay to move back a step and go back to the bouncing and hitting until you start to feel confident again and then move up to the hitting to each other. Once you feel comfortable hitting to each other, we can start the consistency game. Let's see how many we can do in a row. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now for the 30 second challenge with the forehand. With this game, you have to see how many forehands you can do correctly in 30 seconds. You're only allowed to use one ball. If you make a mistake, you've got to run, grab the ball and keep counting until your 30 seconds is up. See how many forehands you can do in 30 seconds. So Jeff, you can set the timer for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remembering to have your good consistent and good technique with your stroke. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33. Oh, time's up. 
Now it's time for the 30 second challenge with the backhand counter hit. Jeff, start the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Making sure you've got good technique. 22. Quick. Phew. Get the ball. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There's the timer. Well done. To finish off the session, I'd like you to play a normal game, but I want you to focus on your technique on your forehand and backhand. So you can score the game normally, but at the end, I want you to give yourself a rating out of 10 as to how well you played your forehands and backhands. In this session, we focused on your forehand and backhand counter hit. This is a real stepping stone in advancing your game to be able to play at a higher level.